Let's look at how to insert a table on a page and modify its properties. To add a table to a page, open the page in edit mode. Place the cursor at the position where you want to insert the table, and then click the table icon on the toolbar. A three column, three row table appears on the page. Let's add some content to the table for this demonstration. You can switch between fixed width, wide, and full width table using the width selector to the right of the table. Using the width switcher to the right of the table, you can determine how much white space appears on either side of your table. If a column includes an item that's too wide for it, a horizontal scroll bar appears when viewing the page. When you have large tables with many rows, the header row stays static and doesn't scroll out of view when editing or viewing the page. However, if you've merged several rows to create a bigger header row, it doesn't stay static. Now let's see how to edit or modify a table. The table editing tools are contextual and vary based on the selected area. To modify the table, select a part of the table to see the toolbar at the bottom of the table. The header row is selected by default, which marks the header row with gray background, and the text would be bold. To mark a column as a header column, select the header column option. To automatically number each row, select the numbered column option. To remove a table, click the Remove button. For this demo, we will not click Remove and only select the header row option. To add a row, move the mouse over one of the dots to the left of the table, and to add a column, move the mouse over one of the dots above the table at the desired position. On mouse over, the dot will change to a plus icon. Click the plus icon to add a row or column at the desired position. To delete a row, click to the left of the row to select it, and then click the Remove Row icon. Similarly, to delete a column, click above the desired column to select it, and then click the Remove Column icon. To select the complete table, you need to click the top left corner of the table. After selecting the table, you can cut or copy the table and paste it at a different position if required. When you select a cell in the table, a drop-down arrow appears, which provides a list of editing options. You can change the background color of the cell, insert a column to the right, add a row below, remove a column or row, and clear any data in the cell. If multiple cells are selected, the option to merge cells is available. If a cell was previously merged, you have the option to split the cell. The width of each column is set to a percentage of the page width, so the columns will grow or shrink as the page size changes. Once you've created and edited your table, click Publish to view the page. When viewing a table on a page, you can sort it by clicking the sort icons in the header row. Your sorting choices don't impact what other people see. That brings us to the end of this video on working with tables. In this video, you learned how to insert a table, modify a table,